Good morning, it's a daily quiz, episode 34 on training. We do that twice a month because training is the toughest category for most people when we look at these scores. Uh, I'm John Newquist, your host, and it's November 9th, 2025. It's on the ASP, CSP, CHST, SMP, and OSHT. Example of a training preparation that's effective is when an organization provides a trainer with a document that systematically identifies gaps in employees' current knowledge and skills relative to the job requirement before those gaps start creating real issues. What's the name of the document or process? A. Course curriculum. B. Summary of past evaluations. C. Needs analysis. D. Past test scores of the students. And the answer is needs analysis. It's the first step. You got to always know that. They may ask you the steps of the training process, but it's going to identify the gaps in the area where the employees know and not know. And this is what you do before you do any kind of training session. Some of you might just do it in your head, but this is what you know. a lot of people go, what is the needs? We want to protect the operators when they're running this machine. That would be an example of a needs one. We want to make sure that our riggers have ability to identify bad shackles. What is a term for collaborative training method that encourages participants to freely share and generate numerous ideas in a group setting without the use of lectures and slideshows? A. Brainstorming. B. Fishbowl. C. Adlib. D. Icebreaker. And it is brainstorming. Like if here you can see we're talking about doing what are some issues we can do to improve the lockout. We write all the ideas. We don't criticize each one, otherwise you'll never get done with it. You just write them all down and when everybody's got their ideas up, then we go back and circle and let's go through each idea. Very, very effective method. And you'd be surprised. Most of the time you write stuff down, it's not a bad idea. Most of the time. Four-step instruction protocol is effective in delivering important lessons to your worker. The four steps are prepare the worker for instruction, present the operation, have the worker perform the operation, and follow up with the worker to confirm understanding and answer questions. B, provide manual instruction sheets. Manufacturers instruction sheets provide computer-based competency module, administer an examination, rank the workers based on their examination scores. C, schedule training, deliver the information in person, conduct written examinations of 20 questions, and assign tasks to those who receive 80% or greater scores. D, describe the job, provide a written list of rules to be followed, identify the disciplinary action if the rules aren't followed, and communicate the expected levels of productivity. Well, let's talk about the four-step instruction process goes back from World War II, part of the, uh, was called Prepare, Present, Performance, Follow-Up. They couldn't think of four Ps, so they came up with three Ps. Tell why the task is important, get them ready to learn, present the operation, show them and explain the procedure step by step, perform the task, allow the work to practice, provide immediate coaching, follow up, verify, understand, and give feedback, ensure consistent application of the job, and the goal is that we get retention, hands-on learning, and confirmed competency. This should be done at a lot of facilities. Too many attempts don't get this four-step process. So the answer was, A, prepare the worker for instruction, present the operation, have the worker perform the operation, and follow up the worker to confirm understanding and answer questions. And, you know, come back in 30 days also. That's what I like. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.